<laughs> Some movies glorify journalism. Think Spotlight or All the President's Men. Clint Eastwood's new film, Richard Jewell, does the opposite, accusing the media of destroying the life of a real-life hero. Problem is, in making its case, Richard Jewell bends the truth. Adam has more. The message of the movie Richard Jewell isn't subtle. Don't trust the government or the press. His accusers are two of the most powerful forces in the world, the United States government and the media. After he saved countless lives by discovering a pipe bomb at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics, Richard Jewell was hailed as a hero and then hounded when the FBI turned him into a suspect. Can you categorically say that you did not do this? I did not do it. But while Richard Jewell the film says it wants to correct the record, it takes gross liberties when it comes to Kathy Scruggs, the real-life reporter who broke the story about the FBI's focus on Jewell. Jewell fits the profile of the lone bomber. A frustrated white man who is a police wannabe who seeks to become a hero. We're running it. The film shows Scruggs offering to sleep with an FBI agent to get information, but there's zero evidence that ever happened. Scruggs died in 2001 and can't defend herself, but her former employer, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, is threatening to sue Warner Brothers, the studio behind the film. The newspaper wants a public statement from the studio saying some events were imagined and a disclaimer at the end of the film. For now, Warner Brothers isn't budging, calling it the ultimate irony that the Atlanta Journal-Constitution, having been a part of the rush to judgment of Richard Jewell, is now trying to malign our filmmakers and cast. For the record, a court tossed out Jewell's libel suit against the Journal-Constitution in 2011, calling the paper's coverage substantially true. Well, I already know I'm going to be alone on this one because we were talking about this in the green room. But, I mean, it's a movie. It's artistic license. I realize the use her real name. I just saw that bombshell movie, which is about Fox News. I'm sure there was plenty of artistic license in that. I mean, and the, 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 the filmmakers are right. You know, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution really, really maligned Richard Jewell. That's the, th that's the thread of this story. This is a sidebar. And, by the way, I, as I understand it, uh, Kathy Scruggs may have had a relationship with one of the FBI agents. I would say that if you're making a movie about the destructive consequences of the media's recklessness, it would make sense to not embellish gratuitously. This is a cautionary tale, even if you don't have Kathy Scruggs in an imagined sequence offering to trade sex for, for a scoop. As for the relationships, I've read a few profiles of Kathy Scruggs uh, in, in the course of getting ready for this show, and apparently she did date some police. She had very, you know, sources in law enforcement. She also dated people in law enforcement. But that's different than offering a transactional, hey, how about I sleep with you, and, and you give me this information in return for it. And I do think it's important to stress that what she reported that the FBI was looking at Richard Jewell, was that, that was correct. Yeah. You can question the framing right. of the story. Uh, you can note that there were other things that the AJC did. There was a column that compared uh, Richard Scruggs to a, a convicted killer that, Jewell. looking back on it, mm -hmm. pretty, thank you, uh, Richard Jewell, mm -hmm. uh, looking back on it seems pretty irresponsible. Mm -hmm. But her story wasn't wrong. The FBI turned out to be wrong, but she wasn't. The story she wrote wasn't yes. wrong, just to be clarified. Yes. Um, I, I, of all the people to add stuff, you know, why is the woman's character, the real woman who is dead and not here to defend herself, why is it that, you know, she has to be maligned in this way? If they absolutely knew that to be true, maybe I could see it. And even then I would be like squeezy about it, you know. But this, they don't know to be true. This is just to make people ha eat more popcorn. It's disgusting. It's, it's artistic license. No, I'm not saying don't. it's not artistic license. I'm not disagreeing <laughs> with that. I'm saying he, he had choices to make. He made other choices, but he chose to malign her in this way, and he didn't have to. That's all I'm saying. But you on know. the face of it, to me, it, it is almost ridiculous and to me ruins the whole movie to make a movie about uh, the media ruining, the smearing a, a person's reputation while they're smearing yeah. the reputation of a dead woman. That's number one. Number two, they use her name. It's, yes. not a, it's not a composite character. They don't use the FBI agent's name. What's that all about? And the third <laughs> thing is... This is a continual theme through, uh, right. through real-life journalism and fictional journalism that somehow the woman reporter couldn't get the story, whether it's from the cops or the politicians or anybody else, without sleeping with them. I mean, we all saw that in House of Cards and any other kinds of uh, things that are, that are on television. So I think Clint Eastwood um, looks... This looks very Movies bad Movies always add a sexual element, when they're, even when they're then depicting... Then don't use her name. Yeah, Depicting exactly. real life. Well, yeah. yeah. 
That, yeah, that, that's the thing. Don't use her name. Well, I mean, yeah. Just remind, because we remember Tom Fiedler went through this, too, yes. with the movie about yeah. Gary Hart. He was viciously maligned. But right. he made out to be a sloppy thug. And he wasn't. Well, we all know yeah. how urbane and charming yeah. Tom is, yeah. but he was, yeah, he was made out to be this this dope. Yeah. Right. But that's very different than making someone out to be a well, you know, he was conniving upset. vixen. Well, he type. was pretty upset about it. He was. Well, no, he should have been upset yeah. about he, it, but he, he, he wasn't, you know, yeah. nobody accused him of sleeping with somebody yeah. to get the scoop. And he's alive yeah. to defend himself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Even though there's been some great real-life movies, like Spotlight and All the President's Men and some others we could point to, it's a very odd genre, isn't it? We're using real names, we're saying real people and saying this happened, and this is what people take away from it. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a huge misstep. It was a deeply sexist misstep. And I'm just going to quote what a great lawyer once said in a courtroom. He said, turned to the jury and he said, if there's something rotten floating around at the top of the barrel, you're under no obligation to reach in and see if there's something better underneath. And to me, this is just something rotten floating around at the top of the barrel, and it just kind of poisons the whole okay, movie. Okay, don't forget, you know, Oliver Stone sort of did a lot with his genre, too. He used real names in that movie where he made up the whole thing. You know, the, the, all the all the That's not the a defense. I'm not, I, I know, but I mean, yeah, it's I'm like with that nobody was threatening to sue him. No, the, again, were people sleeping around in the film? No, but you know, I mean, he, no, he made a lot of people believed what he was saying. I, was by the way, saying. this yeah. suit is not going anywhere because you can't libel a yes. dead person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That may be one well, of the reasons. No, but the Atlanta Journal Constitution I could say that they've defamed them. Well, but that's yeah, that's a that's stretch. We might want to mention, stretch. just as an aside, in case we have any uh, Olivia Wilde super fans out yeah. there in the audience, that she initially made some comments that seemed to sort of belittle the concern that's been raised, and has since taken to Twitter and written this long Twitter thread, yes. where in essence she says. I was not attempting to portray Kathy Scruggs trading sex for information, and she implies that there were decisions made by the filmmakers that resulted in that portrayal that she's not on board with. She also said she did research herself, and she, that was not part of any of her research that she came up with.